by the tiny explorers, hooray! Hi friends! It's me, Zara. Look outside, it's raining. I love the sound it makes on the window. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter. But, do you ever wonder, where does rain come from? Hmm. Do clouds cry? Or is there a secret in the sky? Let's go on a learning adventure and find out how rain really happens. Come on, tiny explorers, it's time to learn about the water cycle. First, when the sun shines bright, it makes the water in lakes, oceans, and puddles really warm. Warm water turns into tiny, invisible drops called water vapor. This part is called evaporation. Can you say that with me? Evaporation. The water vapor goes up, up, up into the sky, and when it gets cold up there, it turns into tiny water droplets. These droplets stick together to make fluffy clouds. This part is called condensation. The clouds are getting full. But when there's too much water inside the clouds, guess what happens? That's right, the clouds get too heavy, and the water falls down as rain. This part is called precipitation. Big word, right? After the rain falls, the water goes back to rivers, lakes, and oceans. That's called collection. And then the sun starts warming it again. And the whole water cycle starts all over again. Let's remember the four big steps of the water cycle. Evaporation, water turns into vapor. Condensation, vapor makes clouds. Precipitation, rain falls down. Collection, water goes back to rivers and lakes. Sun shines bright and warms the sea. Wasn't that fun? Next time it rains, you'll know exactly what's happening in the sky. Thanks for learning with me, tiny explorers. See you next time. Bye. Wow. We learned so much about how rain happens, from the sun warming up water, to clouds forming, and finally, raindrops falling down. Isn't nature amazing? Next time it rains, you'll know exactly what's happening up there in the sky. Thanks for exploring with me, tiny explorers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun facts and adventures. See you next time. Bye.